Hi, this is Justin with the SketchupEssentials.com. Um, today I'm going to walk you through another uh, SketchUp tutorial. This one's going to have to do with using the basic uh, view tools. Um, so the tools that you have for moving around in your model. So if you go up to the top of the screen and you look at these four icons, uh, these are your navigation icons. And uh, these are some of the basic tools that SketchUp has to uh, move around in your model. Uh, there are some other tools as well, but we'll just focus on these for right now. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first tool, probably the one that you're going to use the most when you're moving around in a model, is the Orbit tool. And that's this tool right here. Um, it looks like two arrows, two different colored arrows kind of going in a circle. And um, basically what that tool does is it rotates around in your model so you kind of fly around your objects. Um, so there's a couple different ways that you can activate this tool. The first um, obviously you can just click on this icon and then left click and drag to orbit around and then you can also you can type the O key on your keyboard and then click once or left click and hold and drag around to orbit as well and those are fine options but um, there's there's some limitations that come with that probably the way that you're going to use this most is by clicking the middle mouse button the scroll wheel on your mouse and holding that down and moving around your model so if you click and hold um, the scroll wheel down and move your mouse around then you'll orbit around and uh, one of the big benefits of that is that uh, when you use the uh, scroll wheel to do that if you have a tool active like let's say you were coming in here and you were drawing a circle like this right so you click once to set your center point and then uh, let's say you wanted to orbit around and uh, get a different view while you're working with this you'd go ahead and click that center scroll wheel down uh, hold it down and move your mouse and then as soon as you let up on that button if you see the circle tool is still active you don't lose that center point that you set so uh, it's really useful to be able to uh, orbit around in your model and not lose whatever you're working on. So same thing if you're drawing a line or something like that. You set your first point and then you click and drag. The line tool is still active um, so you don't lose what you were doing. That's a big time saver. So the best way to use the orbit tool is using a three button mouse with a scroll wheel that you can click and drag around. So the next tool I want to talk about is the pan tool. So you've got your orbit tool, right, where you can orbit around, you can fly around your model. But sometimes you just kind of want to drag something across on your screen without actually orbiting. So you, you want to keep the same angle, but you just want to move something over or up or down or whatever in your view. So what you do is if you look up here, there's this little hand tool. Uh, if you hover your mouse over it, it says pan. That's the pan tool. And uh, what you can do with that is if you left click on that once and then click and drag, um, you can move your view around without actually changing your angle. So uh, while the orbit tool, you know, changes the angle that you're viewing your object, the pan tool, the pan tool retains that same angle. So you're still viewing it from the same angle, but you can move it from the left to the right or up and down. So there's three different ways you can activate the pan tool as well. It's a lot like the orbit tool. The first, obviously, you click on the little hand up here. Then you left click and drag to move your object around. Um, you can also use the keyboard shortcut H. So um, hit the H button and then left click and drag to uh, move your object around. And again, I mean, that's kind of got the same problem as the orbit tool, though, if you do it that way. Um, if you use the icon up here or if you use the keyboard shortcut and then a left click, you kind of lose your work. So, um, you know, if you've got like a circle here and then you uh, press the H key to activate the pan tool, then it closes out of your, your object. It doesn't stay active. So uh, the best way to activate the pan tool is to hold down the shift key on your keyboard and then click your scroll wheel and hold it down and drag it around. So I'm holding shift on my keyboard right now and just clicking that scroll wheel and dragging. And that has the same benefit as uh, when you were working with the uh, orbit tool in that if I activate an object like the circle tool and then I hold the shift key and click my mouse button down and then I drag to pan, then I let up on all that, my object or my uh, tool stays active. So I retain that center point that I already set. So it's real easy to 
you know, when you couple that with the orbit tool, it's real easy to uh, fly around while not losing any of your work. That's really the best way to activate this tool and to use it. So the orbit tool, click and hold down your scroll wheel and drag the pan tool, hold down the shift key on your keyboard, and then also hold down the scroll wheel and drag. So that's a real quick, easy way to move around in your model. So uh, the next thing I want to talk about is zooming in and out in your model. So uh, a lot of the time you're going to want to uh, get in closer or further away from whatever you're working on. So uh, if you look at this tool up top, you, the, if you hold your mouse over it, it says zoom. Uh, so that's your zoom tool and if you click once on that and then come down here and click on your screen then um, if you hold down your left click and you move the magnifying glass up and down then it's gonna zoom in and out on your object so you can activate that tool that way you can also um, press the Z key on your keyboard to activate that tool and then again just left click and drag to zoom in and out but um, really the best way to do this, and again we're going back to the scroll wheel, the, the best way to zoom in and out on your model is simply to uh, roll your scroll wheel up and down. So pick a point on your object, whatever you want to zoom in on. So if I want to zoom in on this corner, I'll put my cursor over this corner, and then uh, I'll scroll my mouse wheel up, and SketchUp will automatically zoom in to that point. And then if I want to zoom back out, then I just scroll the scroll wheel down. So, and one, one of the things that you kind of want to notice with this is SketchUp will zoom in and out based off of where you have your cursor. So, if you've got your cursor on this corner and you scroll in, then it'll zoom in on where your cursor is. And then, if you want to zoom out and you have your cursor over here, you can see that SketchUp kind of uses wherever your cursor is as a, as a base point. So, depending on where your mouse is, your uh, cursor is is going to affect the way that it zooms in and out. So if I have my cursor here and then I scroll my mouse wheel out, it zooms out from this point, but if I move my mouse over here and scroll out, it zooms out from that point. So you can see how the angle that it zooms is kind of different depending on where you keep your cursor. So one of the other things I want to talk about that you can do with the zoom tool is uh, setting your field of view. So uh, basically your field of view sets how much you can see with your current camera. So uh, SketchUp defaults to a field of view of about 35 degrees. Um, and that's, that's a pretty decent field of view if you're looking at the exterior of objects and stuff like that. But one of the problems you have with that is once you get like inside, um, inside areas kind of like this, um, as you can see you're, you're a your camera doesn't really show a whole lot of it doesn't show a very wide angle so what you can do is if you look up at this uh, zoom tool if you click that and then uh, if you look down in the corner here it says field of view 35 degrees so what you can do is you can type in a value like let's say I typed in 95 and hit enter then you can see that it it widens my field of view it's kinda like using it like a wide angle lens so kinda I mean it's it's not exactly a fisheye but it's kinda like that you see how it distorts everything a little bit but you can see everything a lot wider so you can use this for like interior areas where you're trying to see more of a room so um, basically all you have to do to do that is click once on the zoom tool and then um, you just type in a value like 95 and hit enter and as you can see it gives you that wider field of view and then if you don't want to be quite as precise if you just want to go until it um, until you just like your view um, then what you can do is you can hold the shift key and click once and then move your zoom tool up and down and it'll change your field of view based off where you where you have your zoom cursor so if you don't want to type in a value and deal with guessing with all that and that kind of thing then just uh, activate that zoom tool hold down the shift key left click and drag and as you can see it'll move your field of view for you so this is really useful when you're dealing with interior situations and things where you're trying to see where you're trying to get a wider angle so sometimes when you're dealing with your view um, if you're in here working on like a component or something like that of a larger model like I'm zoomed in my windows right now if I'm in here working in this component and I'm zoomed in really close sometimes you just wanna really quick uh, 
just zoom out so you can see everything. So just so you can see everything in your model. Uh, sometimes if you get really zoomed in on stuff, you know, like this, if you get like inside a wall or something like that, it's really easy to kind of get lost in that 3D space. And uh, a lot of the time it's just easier just to zoom all the way back out and just kind of start over again. So uh, to do that, uh, you're going to use this tool up here that looks like a magnifying glass with three arrows coming out of it. Uh, it's called Zoom Extents. And basically what Zoom Extents does is um, whenever you click it, it'll take you from wherever your view is now to a view that shows everything in your model. Right, so I clicked it right there. So if I'm really zoomed in on this window and I just want to zoom out quickly and I click that Zoom Extents, it's just going to take me where I can see everything that's included in my model. So it's going to zoom you out. It's kind of like it's kind of like resetting your view. And a lot of the time it's easier than dealing with a whole bunch of scrolling and zooming in and or uh, scrolling out and zooming out and that kind of thing. So uh, if you ever need like a quick a quick zoom out so you can just see everything, just click that zoom extents button up here and uh, you'll be able to see your whole model. So uh, there's one more thing I want to talk about um, when it comes to SketchUp's basic view tools. And uh, that's these icons over here, the uh, preset views. So uh, SketchUp has six preset views up here that you can select that uh, just uh, they're they're commonly used views that uh, you can just jump to real quick. So um, this one right here will take you to an ISO view, and ISO just means you're kind of up at an angle looking down at your object. Um, so you can click on that and it'll take you to a default ISO view or uh, you've got these other ones here so you can go straight to the front of your model or the side of your model or you can get a real quick plan view so a top down view so uh, those are those are really good for uh, just moving around to default views that a lot of modelers use a whole bunch so uh, you can use those to jump around and kinda kinda get your camera where you want it to be so uh, one, one, one of the deals that comes along with that is, is, as you can see, if I go to a plan view right now, um, it's not really a true plan view in the sense that, uh, you know, if you ever deal with like construction drawings or architectural drawings, stuff like that, um, they're drawn from a true top down so you only see the tops of objects. Now that's not really, you know, realistic because in in life, in reality, everything has kind of a perspective to it, meaning that everything goes to a vanishing point. So, uh, like, if I hide this floor, right, and then I draw some guidelines real quick, you can see... You can see that all these objects go to a vanishing point that's about right here. You can see that these guides go straight down and they all vanish to a point about here because we're being drawn in perspective right now, um, which, which is fine, but uh, sometimes you want an actual true plan view where you don't have any of this perspective. You don't want things like this drawn. You don't want your windows drawn straight down, that kind of thing. You just want a true straight down plan view. So what you can do is you can change the way that SketchUp draws your model in in your current camera view. So if you go up to camera up on your toolbar up here, you see how this is marked perspective right now? If you go in and select parallel projection, what that's going to do is it's going to stop drawing your model in a in a perspective view where everything goes to vanishing points and it draws it a different way but basically what that allows you to do is it allows you to have true plan views and elevation views without dealing with the perspective so um, you know it's a, it's a really good way you know if you're dealing with architectural plans or stuff like that and you don't want all the distraction of things going to a vanishing point you just want to show a top-down view like this that's how you can do that so and then if you orbit around you can see that SketchUp draws this a little different way like these don't these don't actually go to a vanishing point you know if you look at these lines the guidelines that we drew now instead of going down to a vanishing point you can see they're just straight up and down so SketchUp's just drawing them where it projects the lines so that they're parallel going off in the distance um, which is which is good for doing things like plan views and stuff like that. You have to be a little careful because it can distort your model a little bit because it's not actually like a true accurate view of the way things look in reality. 
But again, that takes that perspective away and lets you do your true plan view type stuff. So uh, there's a whole bunch more you can do with SketchUp's view tools. You can do animations. You can preset views. You can do all sorts of stuff that I'll get into in a future tutorial. Um, you know, the purpose of this tutorial was kind of to go through the basic view tools that'll help you navigate in your model and to get you started. So uh, hopefully you found this helpful. Um, I, I'd really appreciate it if you wouldn't mind liking this video and uh, subscribe. I've got new videos coming out every week. And, uh, you know, let me know in the comments below. Is there something that you struggle with in SketchUp that you'd like to hear about, you'd like to see a tutorial on? Um, and then finally, if you're looking for more information, you can always check out the SketchUpEssentials.com. Um, there's a whole bunch of tutorials and other information there as well. So I appreciate you taking the time to uh, watch this video, and I'll catch you next week. Thanks.